This is a massive game in the Bundesliga. We're facing Borussia Dortmund. It's a top of the table clash in the Bundesliga. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankie FM 84 and today you're joining me for another episode of Die Rotten Bullen where we are currently out in Germany managing Red Bull Leipzig. So, as I said at the top of the episode, today is a big one. It could be a game that helps to decide the fate of the Bundesliga title. We are going to be going up against the black and yellow of Borussia Dortmund. But before we jump into that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button to help the channel out everybody who's done that i appreciate that massively uh, a big thank you for everybody who has supported so far what i'm gonna do is push straight on into this one i don't really think it needs anything else said we are going to be facing Borussia dortmund see how we get on in football manager so then here we are back inside a football manager and this game probably needs no introduction we are top of the league currently sat on 64 points Played 24 games, but so are Borussia Dortmund. And how are we going to go about separating ourselves from them? Hopefully beating them. So then, here we are back inside of Football Manager 21. As you can see, by looking at the league table, we are currently sat top of the Bundesliga on 64 points. Played 24 games, but right alongside us are Borussia Dortmund, who have an identical record. Uh, there is only one way that we are going to separate ourselves from them, and that is hopefully to get three points against them in today's episode. So let's have a little look at the starting lineup. Who's going to play? Who makes the starting team? So... We are going to have Galaxy in goal, Nets at left back, Gvardiol, Kabak and Lamptey. We've got Sobolai, Tonali and Talis Magno in the middle with Forsberg playing behind Ali and Brenner. Fingers crossed we win this game. We are taking one big step towards retaining our Bundesliga title. Let's jump in and find out how we are going to get on in this top of the table clash. So then, here we go. We are off and running at the Signal Iduna Park in Dortmund. Hopefully, we are going to be able to put a little bit of patchy form behind us. We struggled to get a real foothold in some of the games recently. And obviously had the 7-1 loss and then the 3-2 win. And then, oh, that was almost the perfect start there from Brenner as he bends the ball just past the post. Yeah, unfortunately, we did lose to Arsenal 2-1 in the Champions League. But I'm hoping that we can build a little bit of momentum in the league as we look to defend our title. Hopefully the bigger name players in this team will get up for games. Although at the moment, not a lot happening. Brenner had that one chance. And now it's going to be Borussia Dortmund's turn to attack as they're in the box. Emre Chan can't get the ball though and Forsberg's beaten to it. He's played Bennett, Brenner into acres of space and he smashed it wide. That is so unlike Brenner. He has been the one this season who has driven us forward at every opportunity. Snatched at the chance there. Normally would have put that in the back of the net. And unfortunately, the score stays at 0-0 instead of us carrying a 1-0 lead into the break. Not going to change any of the players at half-time. I think we've done okay. Nothing spectacular. And we are going to push on into the second half. Hopefully, convert one of these chances that we're making we've had six shots and none on target that is very unlike us as we now have a corner and Forsberg crosses it in Guardia with the header was just over the bar not a bad effort but now Gio Reyna's in the box hits it straight at Galaxi at the near post and luckily the big goalkeeper with the big hands stops that and we're straight on the counter attack as Brenner's had a shot he hits it straight at own Nana as well and um, the game seems to be opening up now as chances are coming left right and centre Galaxy has a cross to deal with, takes it well from the corner. And then a big ball forward to Ali. Sobolai with the ball now, tries to find Nets and can't. And we are both playing some brilliant counter-attacking football. It's kind of a chess game. You move, we move. As Sobolai's in, Sobolai's had a chance. Goalkeeper gets his hands to it. He's pushed it over the bar. 
In front of the resulting corner, it gets headed out to Nali with the ball back in. Forsberg keeps it alive, and then the ball is out. Quay throw in. See if we can make anything from this throw in. We can't. So, 66 minutes on the clock. Don't know if we should mix it up in the midfield. Let's see if we've got Sandri on the bench. So, he can come on in place of Tonali. We're going to bring... Hmm, what do we do here? So, Jeremy Pino can come on in place of Sobolai. And, yeah, I think those are the two substitutions we're going to make at the moment. In the background, it looked like we were on the attack, I think. The ball is out of play. Forsberg's going to have a corner. And we've had Gladio head the ball, hit the post. And it goes out. So Galaxy starts us off at the back to Sandri. Tales Magno is moving forwards with the ball. Lamperty then moves forwards. He's into the box. He finds Brenner. And again, Brenner's off target. And this is frustrating. Our two forwards all of a sudden seem to have stopped scoring goals. And uh, that's probably not a good thing when you're trying to win a league, especially as Dortmund now break forward with Rashika. He's into the box. Galaxy is forced into a save again. Turns it around the corner. and For a corner, sorry. And then from the corner, I think that was Delaney that headed the ball over. Getting all kinds of recommendations for substitutions late in the game, but I don't really want to upset the balance, if I'm honest. I'm just going to leave it to play out, hopefully. Chuck Razi hasn't had much in this game, and that's... Surprising, because he's normally the one that kills us. As Forsberg looks to make an attack. Pino's into the box. Goes to ground. Nothing doing. And then Mukoko has got the ball. He's beaten one man. He's beaten two. And hits it straight into the arms of Galaxy. I was just about to declare a worldy goal. And here's Chukwezi. Finds Rashika. There's the goal. But there's the referee going to his VAR. He's going to save us, I think. Let's have a look over. The linesman's flag is up. The goal is disallowed. And that's a clear one. That one, that's Miles. Luckily, as he's took the ball into his stride and smashed it past Galaxy, he's Miles offside. Uh, we're still here living on the edge. Next, we can't clear the ball. Pino jumps in, can't get the tackle. And then Talis Magno plays it forward. Ali can't get on it. Nets plays it forward. And again, it's just coming back at us. Ball's over the top. Chuck Oasey, I thought I was about to become like a crystal ball teller because I thought Chuck Oasey was going to pull the trigger and luckily it didn't go anywhere. So, another nil-nil draw and this season all the big games against the likes of Bayern and Dortmund are not going the way that we thought they would. It was an entertaining game, don't get me wrong. Nothing really spectacular. We had the header that hit the post and we had Brenner with the couple of chances that he probably would have took earlier on in the season. But all in all, happy with the point. We move on and move forwards. And hopefully it's it's nothing that's going to damage our chances of winning the Bundesliga. Let's put it that way. It's not what I wanted. I'm a little bit disappointed. But uh, I'll, I'll take the point and we move on. Nothing more, nothing less. So again, a big thank you for watching. Um, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe and like button, if you haven't already, that would help me out tremendously. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it up there and I shall see you on the next one.